Warm greetings to all the academicians, faculty members, research scholars. This is Bhavya, Assistant Professor Ramanujan College, and I'm here to talk about the advanced features of Google Classroom. Now, before we begin about the advances, I would first give you a glimpse of the basic features of Google Classroom. So, what is a Google Classroom? It is a product developed by Google to manage virtual classrooms. Of course, it provides you a structured manner in which you can share your e-content with the students and also effectively communicate with them. The salient features about the classroom are that it facilitates organization of course content in digital format. It helps you in assessment of students through assignments and quizzes. So you can readily grade the students progress based on the submissions they make. It also helps you to maintain a grade book wherein you can keep a record of all the submissions of the students and their scores in each. You will be able to gather their progress through this grade book. It is free of cost and accessible anywhere. Of course, it provides a discussion forum through which you can interact with the students, answer their queries, post relevant material, and hence it's a very, very great system to effectively deliver your content and also manage it. Now, for the purpose of demonstration, I'll be using this sample classroom. Now, as of now, it does not really have much material, but to give you a glimpse, I think this will really help. So this particular classroom name as BSc Honors Computer Science for section third year has this class code. And as of now in the stream, you can notice that one material has been posted by the name regularization. If I take you to the classwork section, you can see that there are two topics, one on introduction and one regression. So this classroom basically deals with the subject machine learning. And these are two topics from it. There is one material that has been posted for the content regularization which consists of two presentations now taking you to the people section here you can see there is one teacher which is me and there are some four students which are there for demo then you have the grade section which as of now is empty and once we add assignments and quizzes this section will consist of the names of all the students and their corresponding score in those assignments and questions. So this is the basic structure of a Google Classroom. And if I would like to talk about how to add content, then you go to Classwork, go to Create, and you have all these options. This particular option helps you to add topics. Assignment option helps you to add assignments. Quiz assignment helps you to add quizzes. Question is for live question answer session. Material helps you to add some material. And reuse post is one which we'll be talking about later. So this is the general structure of a Google Classroom. And in the next, we'll be taking up the first topic, which is about evaluation. So evaluation of assignments and quizzes in Google Classroom. We'll talk about some advanced features that will enhance the utility of this platform for you and also make things easier. So in the next video, the first topic would be rubrics.